In this video, you will learn about how to embed a CSV file. Embeddings are numerical representations of words or documents that capture semantic meaning. These are typically dense vectors. They only contain real valued numbers for each dimension. Let's import OS. Import from get pass. Import get pass. And then from langchain underscore community dot embeddings import hugging face embeddings. We are going to use this hugging face embeddings to embed our CSV file. First, we will set our API key and store it in a variable hugging face hub API token. I will write here. Hugging face hub underscore API underscore token. And to hide this API key, I will use this class get pass that I just imported above. Let us execute our code. And now I'm going to copy this access token from here and then I'll paste it here. Now I'm going to set this as an environment variable. I will write here os dot environ and then bracket I will copy it from here and then I will paste it inside quotes and then I will assign it to itself and let us execute our code so this has created our environment variable having our API keys now I'm going to create an object of this class hugging face embeddings I will write here embeddings and then I will call this hugging face embeddings here and let us execute our code. To load our CSV file, I'm going to import CSV loader from langchain. I will write here from langchain dot document loaders import CSV loader. And then I'm going to create an object of this CSV loader. I will write here loader and then I will call this class CSV loader. Inside this, I'm going to pass the CSV file name and its name is iris.csv. Now this is just an object. We won't get the data here. To get the data, we will have to call the function load on this loader object and save it in a new variable. I'll create a new variable data then I will call this loader on this I will call the method load and now if I print this data I should get the CSV file content and here in the output you can see that we got the CSV file and these are represented as document so we have a list and inside this each of them are rows so this is zero row this is row number one two three and so on and these are the content that is the column name so first column is sepal length centimeter second is sepal width centimeter third is petal length centimeter and so on or we can directly look at this page content here for that i will call here data and then zero at the syntax zero then dot page underscore content and then I will call this so here you can see this is our first row or the zeroth row where we have these columns sepal length centimeter sepal width centimeter petal length centimeter petal width centimeter species and then we have this value for this species and these are the values so 5.1 is a value of this sepal length centimeter 3.5 is the value of this sepal width centimeter and so on. Now we will get these uh, rows as a string. So I will call uh, or I will create a list comprehension here. I will write here text dot page underscore content or page content for text in data so here you can see we got all the rows here starting from here 
till the end. Now we are going to save this result in a new variable. So I will just copy and paste it. I will copy it from here and then I will make a new variable where I will do the embedding and save it. I will call that embedded underscore doc or document. Then I will call our embeddings, this embedding object that we created here, this one. And then from this, I will call embed document and if you remember in our previous tutorial we used embed query because that time we had only one line of text and here we have this entire document that is entire csv file that is why we are using this function embed documents here and inside this function i will just paste this one that i can copy it again and i'll just paste this here and let us execute our code so now it is creating embeddings for all these rows and the result will be saved in this variable embed dead underscore document and what we have is a list we will have a list of vectors so i will just print it embed underscore document And here in the output, you can see that we got the embedded numbers here. So we have a list and inside this list also, we have these different list here. And these are nothing but we have a list of vectors and these, these numerical representations, they are now the semantic relations and we can use these numbers for our further processing or for our model. And we can also check the length of this embedded document. If I write here length of embedded document. So length is 150 and this 150 is nothing but the total number of rows. So if I show you here, you can see this, this is the last row that is row number 150. And then we have this first row here starting from here. So total there are 150 records or 150 rows. Therefore, the length of this embedded document is also 150. So this is how you can embed your CSV file. And once you have this, then you can use it for any model. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.